Hey writers, in last week's video, I showed you how I'm using Trello to outline my novels. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm taking that same Trello outline and now using it to make editing notes and a revision plan for my book. First, if you didn't see that outlining video yet, you might wanna go back and watch that first so you can see how I set up this outline template. And I'll link that down below for you. But if you already have your outline all set up, the first thing you wanna do is create a copy of your outline. So if you go ahead and change things during this process that you don't end up liking, you can always revert back to your original. Then for editing, I've been using the following features. First, I use checklists and I use this to mark off things I want to edit for each scene and these usually come from the notes I've personally made from my fast read-through of my novel and then I go ahead and check them off as I do them. This past read-through that I did for my young adult fantasy novel I actually used an ebook version of my novel on Kindle and made highlights and notes directly in the ebook and that was really helpful and cool so if you'd like to check out the video I did about how to do that I'll link that video down below for you as well. Then another section I usually add is for recording the most helpful feedback I've gotten from my beta readers. If you don't know what a beta reader is, my goodness, they are so helpful in improving your book. And if you want to learn more about what they are or my beta reader process, you should definitely check out my beta reader series, which I'll link below too. As I showed in my last video, I also love to analyze my story using labels. These labels are really helpful because you can hide them when you make them gray, or if you want to track something and really see it on the overall outline, you can colorize them. I use these to keep track of things like character arcs, and it also helps me see which characters are in which scenes, and if they're missing for too long or in too many chapters. I can mark main story beats and figure out, are they strong enough? Are they in the right place? I can track subplots and make sure that I'm not dropping them for too long, sort of like with characters characters and analyze just overall pacing. I can also use labels to organize different kinds of edits. So if I have a bunch of scenes I want to add, I can create a label for that. Or if I have a bunch of scenes I know I need to delete, I can create a label for that. Or if I just want to mark all the scenes that I know I need to rewrite or change significant things, I can do that too. Then Trello makes it really easy to just click and drag to rearrange scenes or to go in and add or delete. Or you can even archive scenes if you don't want to permanently delete them. Then I use use all of this to do two waves of editing. The first is developmental and for this I made a separate list for overall edits of the story as a whole and then again I can check them off as I do them. I can also use my labels to focus first on scenes I want to delete and then add or rewrite. I can also use my labels and even search for certain labels to focus on different kinds of edits I want to do if I want to go in and just do all the new scenes first or scenes I want to rewrite, I can just search them like this and they all pop up in a nice, clean, easy to find manner. Then as I was showing you earlier, I also create checklists within each scene card so I can go through the list chronologically if that's how I want to edit and check things off as I go. As I said in my last video, you can totally do so much of this kind of stuff in a program called Scrivener, but since I haven't purchased Scrivener yet, I love that this Trello board is free and it also has some similar functions. Trello is also super useful for productivity, like how I used it to create my digital Kanban board. So if you missed that video and you want to crush your goals and be more productive, I'll link that for you down below as well. If you try any of this out and love it, don't don't forget to share this video on Instagram or Twitter to help your other writer friends out and tag me because I'd love to see it and know that it's helping other people and give you a shout out. And if you're looking for more writerly related videos, you can check out one of these two videos and we'll see you there.